Bar chart races are a big hit in 2019. Many of the trending posts on the Data is Beautiful subreddit used an app called Flourish Studio to create the animation. I am in no way affiliated with Flourish Studio. I find it as a very simple way to create a generic data visualization. To do this, you will need a Flourish Studio account. And to do that, you go to their website. When you sign in, you just create an account. Since I already have an account, I'll go to the page that they redirect you to, where I go to My Projects, and I'm going to create a new visualization. When you create a new visualization, go to the Bar Chart Race template. From there, you'll see images on bars, images on left, and images with captions. The two most common that I see are the images with caption, or the one that I used called images on bars. As you can see, straight out of the box, it is a very good looking data visualization. From here, all we pretty much have to do is customize it and change it to fit our data. Taking a look at the data column, they expect it to be in this format, where the labels go in the A column, the optional category goes in the B column, optional image URL goes in the C column, and the columns following are for your time series data. When I originally scraped the data, I have a data set that looks like this. It was very logical. I have the year in this column, and the header contains the car brands. Now the year is 2019, so I had to project out some of the top brand sales out, just in case any of you are wondering. We can see that this is not the correct format. Now where the programming part of this comes in is I created a Jupyter Notebook specific for this so that I can transfer, transfer the year and some of the different column names to the header and transfer the car brands to the column here. To do that, I read in the original data set as a pandas data frame. Taking a peek at the head of it, we see that looks exactly like we had in Excel. Here's just some miscellaneous formatting that I had to do. This is where the magic happens in which it'll pivot the table or transpose it. I'm gonna replace the NAN values with zero. And this is where I actually replace the header and combine it into a new data frame. Taking a peek at it, we can see that the year is now on top and some of the attributes are in the column there. Now I'm not gonna actually run this script It'll take that data frame and convert it to a flourish.csv. If I take a look at my actual flourish.csv that I have in my folder, you'll see that I manually added this column here. I had to go to Google and search for a bunch of logos and copy the image URL for the different logos. The one con I've seen with Flourish Studio is I have to use an image URL versus actually uploading an image for the data set there is currently no way to actually upload your photo, at least with a free account. Going back to my projects, car data, I'm gonna go ahead and hit import data. Here is the output file from that Python script. And since I'm working in a free account, all my data is going to be public. So import publicly. And from here, they prompt you to select your columns. Now I already have it selected, and pretty much in the same format that they wanted. Label, image, and the rest of the columns are data. And that's just about all there is to it. When I hit the preview button, you have a couple of different options for changing how your data visualization is styled. There are a lot of things that are quite important that I couldn't figure out how to customize, such as making this text here smaller or changing the different font sizes, changing the colors of the fonts. I'm sure that if I went in and manually edited the CSS, I could probably figure out a way to do it. But straight out of the box, there's just not a lot of options. Some of the more important options that you have are animation duration. You have your color choice, where you can choose a color palette or you can edit an, edit an existing one. 
There's different sort modes. There's also size preferences. Other than that, that's pretty much how you make it. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope this helped. Thanks.